One of the biggest side benefits of having to wash my hands and worry about germs is that it has made it very hard for me to unconsciously eat. I think that's been a much bigger benefit than all the crap that I've been washing off of my hands in, uh, in terms of keeping me healthy. Uh, last year I had a big problem with uh, how I was interacting with my food and uh, I had a number of wake-up calls. Uh, first, I went to uh, my computer game conference in Macau um, and I had to adjust to uh, the foods that were available there and it made my trip very miserable. Now looking back, there were many, many new foods that I really enjoyed there, but I kept focusing on the foods in the United States that I was missing, um, especially the dark chocolate, especially uh, uh, meat, um, uh, most uh, they're, 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 the diet there isn't very heavy on uh, red meat or even chicken, um, and uh, I kept thinking back to, to various cuts of meats I had back here in the United States. Uh, during COVID-19, that was also a big challenge. I had to eat a lot of lamb meat, um, and uh, but this time I actually enjoyed it because I've been a little bit more cognizant that uh, life goes on uh, with new challenges, with new foods, with new friends, new social circles, uh, even a new mode of communicating with your, your so social circle, right? Um, okay, so it really ruined my trip to Macau, and then finally I get home. And one day I had gone to my favorite grocery store. They used to have a cafeteria. Obviously that cafeteria is temporarily closed. Um, one day I had went to get my favorite, well, First of all, I started fighting with myself because I had a craving for my favorite frozen meal. It's an Amy's frozen meal. It's a natural frozen I was trying to uh, lose weight because I had uh, another conference coming up in Taiwan. And I was trying to impress a girl at that conference. I wanted to lose weight before that conference. And one day I go into that grocery store and I start fighting with myself. Should I give in to this craving? I give in. I get the frozen meal, I go to the cafeteria, there's a microwave there to heat it up. I put it in the microwave for, I think it was five minutes, and I went to get some utensils and they were out. I went up to customer service to ask for some utensils and, hey, um, excuse me, do you have some utensils? Uh, uh, and he tells me, oh, they're at the cafeteria. They were out, that's why I was asking him. And I got upset, not because of the guy. I mean, I took my anger out of the guy, but I was upset because it made me conscious of the fact that I was eating something. And so I lashed out at the guy, and I got so embarrassed that I didn't go back to that grocery store for two months. And uh, so I was like, oh, my God, oh, I can't believe I would allow myself to get in such a uh, frenzy over the fact that I was, uh, had nothing to do with him. Um, it, it made me realize how complicated my life had become. I was trying to impress the girl at the conference, so I wanted to lose weight. That's why I was fighting with myself, and that, and the fight kind of spilled over to that guy at the grocery store who had nothing to do with it. He, he had nothing to do with he, he He doesn't even know that there's this conference involved. He doesn't know about my diet. He just knows that uh, he he might have uh, he, he might have known that I had gone there before and should have been a little more, bit more cognizant about how to respond, but it was nothing of the magnitude of how I lashed out at him and, and cussed at him. I eventually apologized to him after two months, but he doesn't even remember the situation, which makes it all the more awkward. Uh, but he likes that I apologized to him, and it gave him a little bit of a, a story, to because he's, he's also trying to eat healthier and... Uh, it, 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 it gave him a, another piece of inspiration, which is nice. But my big wake-up call was at my job. I teach at a, a startup university. I'm an adjunct professor. Uh, one day, one of my students had shown up a little bit earlier uh, outside of my office hours, and I was in the middle of eating a bag of popcorn. Once again, I wasn't happy with the fact that I was eating it, and um, so the student comes in. He's in a hurry to get software installed so he can work on his homework. And all I can think about is the popcorn. And it also made me conscious of the fact that I was eating it. And as a result, I got very uh, uh, agitated. And uh, I just wanted to get him out the door. And he got very upset. He threatened to drop the course. Uh, he, he ended up get, getting through the course and got a good grade, too. But he, he threatened to drop the course. 
he showed up like 20 minutes early for the office hours. I think he should have known why was so edgy. When the popcorn is sitting here, the whole room just smells of popcorn, and still he he wants to uh, he wants his questions answered before the office hours. Uh, I wanted to have a talk with him about some boundaries and and let him know what, uh, what had happened that time. But then COVID hit. Um, hopefully he'll still remember the situation after we. Go. I want to have it face to face. I don't want it to be in an email. Um, I think it could be a good learning experience for him that uh, uh, he, he should be more aware of what's going on around him. Uh, but unfortunately, not long after that, COVID. And, um, but, it, but, but I like it. I like it. It's made me more aware of the fact that none of these things really were life-threatening. If anything, they kind of uh, prevented me from killing myself, right? Uh, slowing down my eating. Uh, similarly, nothing that I had to do during COVID was terribly life-threatening, having to make new friends online, exploring the world around me, uh, instead of just always going to my favorite social hole, uh, being more aware of what I'm eating, um, being aware, having to wash my hands, and sometimes having an extra 20 seconds to think about whether or not I really need to eat what I'm planning on eating next. Um, and hopefully, uh, Next year when I go on vacation, I'll enjoy the new foods there more instead of thinking about what I have back home. Sometimes I get very fixated, right? I, I, I'm on my way to Taiwan and I, I just think about my favorite food over there. And then I get off the airplane and I, I rush to the restaurant. I realize it's no longer there. Maybe it's in lockdown this year when I go to Taiwan. And it just feels like a huge gap in my life. Food has a tendency to do that. I need to make it do that less. Um, other activities don't seem to do that. Uh, sometimes I get ready to write a computer game and, and there's a problem with the computer. It needs to do an update and it takes three, four hours. And I actually enjoy that three, four hours when I could go out and do something else. Um, I, 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 that's why my New Year's resolution was to normalize my relationship with food. I didn't say to lose weight or to eat less or any, any, any of that crap. It was a relationship that I needed to, uh, to fix. And I'm so glad I had the opportunity with uh, COVID-19 and uh, uh, making me realize that uh, there's plenty outside of food in life, right? Uh, the other day I went to the Chaz uh, in Seattle, this uh, protest slash new commune slash uh, craziness, right? H history in the making, which was nice, which was nice. I would have never done that if I kept thinking about food. Thanks for watching.